Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do my review of I Wish I Could Say Thank You by Yukari Takinami. This is a fanfare opponent mon release. Um, very large trim size, you know, kind of standard, a little bit more maybe than standard uh, thickness. Um, this is a recounting of this mangaka's journey through um, her mom's cancer battle uh, and their family and how they kind of dealt with it and her own you know personal feelings about what was happening and and how she personally dealt with it um, this I bought this in 2022 or I think early 2022 um, at a time where my one grandmother had just died and my other grandmother had just been diagnosed with cancer so I bought this and then didn't read it um, because I was at a point where I was just not, I didn't think that it was, uh, I would be able to, um, appreciate it at that point, uh, fully. And so I, I saved it and I only read this maybe a month or so ago as the time of filming this. And, um, so I sat with this for almost a year, I think. And then I finally just went, you know what? I think I'm, I'm interested in reading this now. And this was really, really funny. Um, the facial expressions, the way that, that this mangaka portrayed um, her family dynamic and her own feelings about that dynamic was really entertaining and relatable and um, obviously sad but, but very, very funny. Um, she did a really good job of capturing the ridiculousness and the frustration and the hilarity and the um, sincerity of this experience. And I really, really, really appreciated this story. So basically, um, you know, she's, she's just recounting. She's an adult woman. She has her own kid. She's married. She has a sibling, a couple siblings. Um, her sister has her kids as well, her own kids as well. Their mother is a very domineering, opinionated, um, kind of cranky woman, um, who she kind of is a bit distant from, still loves her, but she's, she keeps her distance. She's, she lives quite far away from her, um, and she's kind of doing her own thing. She's making her manga. She's, you know, trying to live her life with her own family. And, um, and then she gets the news that her mom has cancer and it's, um, pretty severe. And so, you know, it then becomes the family, her and her siblings trying to figure out who's going to take care of mom and who, and, and what's the responsibility entail, like that, what does that entail and how often should we visit and try to help out? And, you know, so she, is visiting her mom as often as she can and traveling to go do that. And, but, you know, in the moment having those feelings of like, Oh my God, this woman is so exhausting, but she, she's dying. So I need to, you know, do my best to, to make her happy. And like, just trying to be like this, this person is never going to be happy. This is the way, this is her demeanor. This is how she exists. She is cranky. She's going to comment on my, you know, appearance and my job and my relationships and whatever. She has her opinions and that's the way that she exists. And, you know, it, it really, really delves into um, relationships with your own family and putting up boundaries and your own um, and prioritizing kind of your own mental health and, you know, realizing that just because somebody that you're close to and you love is going through something really tough doesn't mean you you drop absolutely everything and give a hundred percent to that person because you cannot give a hundred percent to another person you need some percent for yourself to keep yourself going um and i really really appreciated the way that this was all packaged all of those really really important discussions packaged within this kind of you know dark comedy but, but real story about her experience. Um, and I, I laughed through almost the entire thing until the end when I cried. And I would say this is definitely something I recommend reading. Um, and unlike 
other kind of true recounting of of true events like this is something i will read again um sometimes i find with like kind of biographical sort of things um that you've read it once and you're like i already know this now and i don't really necessarily need to read this again but this one i i would definitely read again and i just i was very surprised at um the at how 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 much i loved this and laughed during it and really could appreciate the relationships that she had with her mother particularly but her also her siblings and and just found that I found a lot of it really relatable um and I I'm glad that I waited to read it uh and had some time to kind of settle um from from the the death that I had recently experienced and then thankfully my other grandmother who who had cancer is now cancer free um at this point and so you know I I waited until I was in a better place to read this and I'm very glad that I did that because I was able to really really appreciate this for what it was and um yeah I think this is definitely definitely worth reading I can highly recommend this um regardless of if you've lost somebody or not. But I think even if you, particularly if you have somebody in your life, whether it's a family member or, or otherwise, who um, drives you absolutely nuts, but you you know, you know do care about them, but you just need to get your own space, I think that, that you will get something out of this story for sure. Um, and just the, the nuance of that experience of, you know, this person drives me so crazy, but I still know that they did their best and I still know that they love me and I still know that that they did everything that they could with the tools they had and the, you know, within their realm of, of experience to, you know, raise me and do what they needed to do. Um, yeah. So all of that being said, I definitely recommend I Wish I Could Say Thank You um, if you can get your hands on it please, please do, um, and give it a read because it was, it was really, really good. Anyway, thank you for watching.